Hey guys, I'm Sergio, and fun fact about me, my favorite coffee is iced mocha. Pedal Pimps and I have recently collaborated on this new pedal, which is the Attack OD. It is meant to emulate a low drive, dumble steel string singer type sound. And it is a legendary amplifier that has been used by so many legendary guitarists throughout time. With Dumbles, there were a lot of different models throughout the years. A lot of people are aware of the Overdrive Special, which has been used by a lot of people like Larry Carlton and Robin Ford. But this one in particular is based off of the Steel String Singer, which is used a lot by John Mayer and Stevie Ray Vaughan. The amp was loved for its very, very clean, chimey highs. It's very interesting mids, and it's just really, really thick tone, especially when used clean as a pedal platform. And this pedal can turn any clean amp into that. But then you can use it as a boost pedal for an already overdriven amp. Next, let's talk a little bit about the features of this guitar pedal. It's a simple pedal with three controls, gain, output, and a filter. They all behave exactly how you'd expect, but the most interesting for me is the filter control. It thins out the tone in a really pleasing way when turned all the way to the right, and it thickens and darkens the tone on the left. It works with both 9 volt and 18 volt for more headroom. So sa demo na ginawa ko, syempre, si John Mayer yung peg, diba? Ginamit ko on every single one of the guitar tracks. The rhythm guitar tracks, the soloing, all of them. I used my Line 6 HX Stomp XL for a Fender amp, the compressor before the pedal, and also for the filter that you hear in the solo. John Mayer in the original used a Qtron Ottawa, I think. I used my LSL Satikoid Deluxe with bare knuckle pickups on the neck and the middle neck position for pretty much the entire demo. And of course, me being the perfectionist that I am, I also made the backing track all the way from scratch, trying to make it as accurate and sound like the original as much as possible. If you like the guitar tones on this video, make sure to check out Tone Talks. It's a video series where I break down popular guitarists tone, their gear choices, what each thing is doing. I've already covered a couple at this point, one of which is actually John Mayer. So make sure to check that out. Now let's check out some of the guitar tones that can be achieved with this guitar pedal. I am running into my Line 6 Helix. It is in the effects loop. So this is what my clean tone sounds like. And now let me engage the pedal. Without it. With it. As you could probably hear, it thickened up my clean tone by a lot. Add a little bit more gain, knock back the level. Clean tone. So it's definitely a lot more pokey now. I am going to Kind of put it at mga 2 o'clock. So as you can hear, it's a lot thicker now, but it still retains that like chimey quality. Going to darken the filter by a lot more. And 
And again. So this is definitely a good pedal if you think your guitar tone is a bit too thin. Let me put the filter all the way down on. the gain too loud So it doesn't have a lot of gain on it, but that's not what it's meant for. It's not meant to be your... It's not meant to be an overdrive pedal in the traditional sense. But you can use it just as an overall tone enhancer, or you can actually use it to boost an already overdriving amp. So clean tone. So I'm going to... Let's try adding a little bit of gain filtering around there and then adding extra level. Thank you guys so much for checking out this demo. If you liked what you heard, you can pick up one of these from the Pedal Pimps Facebook page. Tell them that I sent you. They're available right now for pre-order. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does help me grow and it's an easy way for you to support my content and this channel. I have some very interesting things coming up that you do not want to miss. I'm Sergio Ramos. Thanks for watching. Peace.